one thing uh, of slight concern is uh, you've got a couple of sisters that seem to be causing um, a little bit of havoc, whether through jealousy or just being nasty sisters. I don't really understand, but um, can you could you possibly explain why your sisters are attacking you? Uh, they always have. They always have. Even if we hadn't seen them for you know six or seven years, and because I was living overseas and you know in the UK, and and we'd get together as a family, and um, and the first thing he'd when he walked in the room, the first thing he'd do would say something to us that was completely and insulting. insulting. He wouldn't say hello. He would just insult first. Yeah, always just insult first. And you think, why do I even say hello to him? Why do we? Yeah, right. Him? Um, and part of the story, part of the prophecy is kept in fairy tales. And the fairy tale we're looking at now being fulfilled is Cinderella, right? The two ugly sisters. So I'm going for the throne and I've got two ugly sisters and an evil mother who are trying to draw me back, sabotage me, do everything they can so I can't get to... Buckingham Palace throne room, right? They just don't want it to happen because it shows up all of their evil negativity. So what you've got in this video is Greg's narcissism shining through. Just count how many times you can hear him make a personal insult towards his sisters about their looks. He says that um, he's not sure what gender Tam is, uh, his sister Tam is. I mean, that's, that's just pure narcissism. The amount of attacks that Greg does on his sisters during this video, and the video is meant to be about, you know, Jack Kidd is asking um, why his sisters made a, made a video about him. And the only things that his sisters kind of say is that he's delusional, don't give him money. Um, but they actually say some nice things, that he's a, a very funny guy. See that Greg with his finger up his nose? Because um, he really is hilariously funny. He is a real funny character. They just want him to get some psych, you know, some mental help. Um, so I don't see anything really nasty in the videos, in the videos that his sister made. But uh, from the off, as soon as he mentions um, Greg's sisters, you see Greg kind of pipe up and straight away talk about how he's been trying to get rid of them for years, uh, about how they've been trying to sabotage him. And apparently, this is them trying to sabotage him, but. All I see is, uh, you know, two sisters and, you know, an, an 85 year old mother who seems so lovely, just simply uh, stating their experience with Greg. And, and these experiences with Greg and his character profile matches up with other people that um, have spoken about Greg, that, know, that knew him from when, his past. My brother and two sisters were heroin users. My brother is still a career drug user from a, la uh, from a young age, and I've got two really ugly sisters. My brother said to me once, he said, you realize your two sisters are throwbacks? And I said, what's a throwback? And he says, when they come out of the womb, you want to throw them back in? Right? <laughs> and, <laughs> whoa, yeah. So, um, so I've, got, I've got two ugly sisters who are, um, uh, they've, they've always kind of just haunted me. And, um, and basically, you know, they've, they've put out a video which I haven't been able to see yet because I, I, it appears that I'm the only person who's blocked from seeing that video. But they're saying, no, 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 he's not this, he's not this, not royals, no. And then my brother's apparently putting out that he's the king of England. You know, so it's like, they can't even, they can't even work together. They've had so much drugs, right? Um, Just one quick thing, though. You haven't actually seen them for how many years? Quarter of a century, I've stayed away from them for over a quarter of a century, since 1993. Wow. Yeah, so... And they they've got to say for themselves, considering they haven't spoken to you for a quarter of a century. For years we thought, we you know, would invite them to things, you know, if like, when, you know, different things, the family would get together, we'd all get together in Byron Bay and our brothers and, and we'd invite them and say, look, we're going to all be in Australia, you know, such such time, you know, come and join us, you're more than welcome, you know. The kids will be here as well, you know, which will be including his. And um, and we just get nothing. And at the same time, we'll be doing this, we'll be saying, why are we doing this? Because he's only going to be horrible to us if he does come, mm. you know. But yeah. we're sort of a mum as much as anything, you know. So, to, but, um, yeah, so we just gave up in the end. She's given up grieving for him really now. Yeah, yeah.
she's she I'm, doesn't I'm glad she has because I'd hate to feel to feel that she was still being you know greatly affected yeah. by, by all this. So I haven't seen them for a quarter of a century. They're ugly. They're the two ugly sisters, and they get no attention. So as soon as I get my first spike of attention, and I've been trying to delete my family for a quarter of a century, but they keep just hanging on and, and you know just coming out with all this bullshit story that just following me around spreading rumors yeah. and it's, it's really horrible but it is the fulfillment of the cinderella story yeah. and my mother's equally as evil and they would just sabotage everything i did and watch charlie ward um watch how about seven minutes in of just one insult after the other watch his face he looks fed up he looks annoyed. He wants to move on. He's had enough of hearing about Greg's sisters. Simply because all that Greg's doing is just below the belt, child, childish insults. And then my brother, who was a drug dealer from the age of like, 15, but he's actually using drugs from the age and, and, and kind of, you know, getting trained by the government as a drug dealer from the age of 10. Um, what he'd do is he'd, he'd um, I'd be an architect in town and he would come in from Australia and he would um, borrow, borrow my car and drive around. And it was, a, it was a white Mercedes, so it was really obvious. It's the old 280E. And he would sell drugs to teenagers and then hand the car back to me in the morning or just basically put the keys back where they were and not tell me. And then all these women would go, oh, we're not using you as an architect because you're a drug dealer. And I'm going, I'm not a drug dealer. Yeah. But he was using my car, right, to sell drugs, which meant that I couldn't get any work in that town. Okay. You know, that sort of sabotage, right? Yeah. And, and um, my, my older sister is um, possessed. Like she's, she's actually a witch. She laughs like a witch. And she stabbed herself in the eye with a knitting needle and went right through the pupil. And then she, um, a few years later, she got a pair of scissors and she's going for me like the scissors got to hair. And my brother's hand comes in and grabs a hand, right? And then the whole family, this is when I'm like 12, the whole family just, no, 14, the whole family split up. She, we boarded her and then we all left the city and drove four hours away, lived four hours away from her because she's so possessed, right? And so... That, oh, that when, when he was about 12, mm -hmm. I'd thrown a pair of scissors at him, or I'd gone to throw a pair of scissors at him, right, yeah. and I grabbed the scissors. Um, but in actual, what, what actually happened was I was sewing, and he was hassling me, punching me, and you know, being a, just being a twelve-year-old dick. And mm -hmm. he punched me. He punched me on my developing breast, so, uh, and that's and it really hurt. So I, I picked up the scissors and threw them at him. I mean, they weren't open or anything, you know, they wouldn't even have yeah. hit him but, and wouldn't have done any damage. And then a few days later, I had this black as my jumper bruise come out on my boob and I thought, oh God, it's going to rot and I'm going to lose a hole in my boob. So I went and showed mum, because I hadn't said anything. And I went and showed mum, said, well, look what Greg did, he punched me. And so she called him over and he said, oh, well, she threw a pair of scissors at me. And so I got blamed. blame. <laughs> oh. Because, because I, you know, I was thinking, well, afterwards, after I've been told off, you know, for throwing the scissors, um, I thought, actually, I threw the scissors because he punched me. Yeah, um, yeah. And then you went anyway. uh, like a, a massive black, you know. Yeah. Well, it was, it was actually quite small, but it was so dense and so big oh. that I thought it had, it had got, you know, gone all the way through, but, you know, my 14-year-old brain. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So, but, uh, yeah, he, he would do things like that. <laughs> and my other sister, um, Tam, is like, I don't know what gender she was. I, my friends would come around, you know, my rowing friends, because I was on the senior eight rowing and the senior four and the senior eight basketball and the top point score of the second 15 and that. And my buddies would come around and they go, oh, I had a chat to your brother. I go, what? <laughs> and my <laughs> sister, I think uh, we, we don't know. We don't know. We, we don't know, what, you know. And she's slow, you know, she was slow. She was, um, I was in the A stream and she was in the, um, just above the, the ones that um, walk. The entry level. Bad, the ones that walk like this, you know. You know she's an well, I think we've established why, why they're having a dig. So if we can move on from there. <laughs> Please. <to> the journey. <laughs> His um, comedy, though, is always at somebody's expense. Mm. Yeah, which, again, is not... 
their physicality or their mentality, their, their sexuality, their intelligence, just the way they walk, anything. Yeah, he's mm. very cruel in that respect. Mm. Very. And he's been like that always for a life. long, long time. Yeah. Always, re he's always been. Like um, that. Yeah. So, so basically, what was happening is that um, Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth II were, were uh, the biggest heroin suppliers on the planet. And they were targeting our family with heroin from a very young age. And the people that were organizing children to be drug dealers was the Minister of Broadcasting, Sir Roger Douglas. And instead of getting convicted of pedophilia, he got a traffic fine and was given a knighthood. Wow. You know? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Fascinating. So that's what we're up, that's what we're up against so, as we speak. If we start with the, the line, the bloodline, and the, um, to clarify the line, Jack, you can sort of... So you decide, who seems like the really nasty one? Who seems like the one making up lies? Is it the guy pretending or saying that he is the rightful king of England um, and he owns the world? Um, is it the guy that's saying that uh, his sisters are ugly? How many times during this video? I mean, five, six, seven, I lost count. Uh, he keeps making personal attacks on them for their looks. He mentions that Amanda is is uh, not mentally stable. Um, I have to ask you who, lex who looks less mentally stable. Um, for me, that's Greg. Um, also, you know, he says that um, his family put Amanda in boarding and moved four hours away. Well, my only question is then why are the whole of his family uh, and friends uh, still in contact with his sisters and, and mother. Um, why are they all sort of together on this? And why are they talking, you know, as if Greg is the narcissistic one? And I truly believe that's because he is. Um, and he's making up these things. And it's not even that he's making anything substantial up. It's just all insults. And it's, it's just pure slander the whole way through the video. I mean, I think Charlie's thinking, what the hell? I, I think Charlie's thinking that this, this looks really bad. Um, that it just looks like the ramblings of someone who's really bitter. It looks like the ramblings of a man that's fed up. Um, that is just really upset that his sisters have foiled his fantasy that he's been pushing on people. And that's all it is. It's Greg and his violent reaction. Um, bitter insulting reaction to the sisters simply trying to stop people from donating money to a madman. So I'm currently the owner of the world. <laughs> In all honesty, do people want a self-appointed king to rule the world? One who insults people for their physical being, for questioning his outrageous claims that have no validated proof? Think about it.